What's up, Dragon Slayers, and welcome to the next Star Ocean Integrity and Faithfulness episode. I did a little bit of off screen, you know, SP just beginning, and now we're going to continue onward. How did I. How did I get stuck? There we go. Wow, the Axe Beaks are really just stunning all of us, aren't they? <laughs> Anyway, we're going to continue onward from Central Brasilia, or towards Central Brasilia. Last time we left, we had uh, figured out really a maybe is the daughter of some researcher, so regardless to say. Regardless to say, we got to figure out this stuff. And we want Victor to tag along too. And, you know. Once we get Victor, hopefully the entire party just stays together at this point. We got a roll level up. That's nice. Yeah, hopefully once we got Victor, that we should be fine. Like we should have all seven party members. I don't know when we're gonna get to learn how really it works or anything, but you know. Actually, nah. Yep. Sound spike. What can I say? Oh, it just goes back to Fidel anyway. Okay, so pretty locked hard into Fidel being our main character. It only changes the battle, so I don't really care. But that's only one I think that can activate a rush anyway. Yeah, Fidel's the only one that can activate his rush anyway, so that's unfortunate. Or should I say, Fidel's the only one with the rush. So since Fidel's the only one with a rush, I guess, you know, we might as well just stick with Fidel. Not really much sense in choosing anything else. Let's go ahead and actually do some blackberries to recover some of our... It is still MP in this game, okay. Cool. Use blackberries to recover some of our MP. Is it really just kind of hard, yes? Oh man, I feel like a jerk picking on him like this. Hey, there we go. Not bad for a guy with a few years on. I legitimately 27. It's just been so many level ups, it's been ridiculous. But I guess it is kind of hard to keep track of all the level ups. You, win, you, gotta be quick about it. you know, we have six people that can possibly level up every time. Oh no, I guess really it doesn't fight right now. Hardly worth the effort. Okay. I mean, I guess that makes sense. That would explain why we can't control her. So you're quite the cook, I hear. Treasure that skill. You at least cook sometimes, don't you, Emerson? Well, no. I mean, the cook always makes my food, so... Cooking for yourself is fun once you get used to it, you know? Why not ask Anne to teach you? She'd just turn the lesson into an experiment. I like how they have these conversations right in front of all the other characters. Like, all of the other characters. It's kind of funny, honestly. To me. Like, oh, forget that everyone else is here. I don't think you have anything that really I would want. Yeah, not really. Not really too much I would want, so all good. What is going on with 
all those people. They are just like, they're just hobbling. I don't, it doesn't really make sense. Tired guard, how did they get in here? Uh, well, you're a tired guard, so, you know, you're probably sleeping. Right, it's a central Resilia. You have a harvest over here. Relia, do you know what your biggest enemy in all the world is? Let me tell you. This life form will put its hand to its lips, tilt its head to one side, affect an innocent love, and say, I don't know. <laughs> I'm talking about other girls. You can't let your guard down, Relia. The battle has already begun. Yeah, I know. Uh. What? What was that interaction? Mickey getting jealous because of the other females in the party. Yeah, okay, so that was just wiped. Did I actually get a level up from that? Those, those guys weren't even that strong. How did I get a level up from that? Makes no sense. But hey, I guess we're not in the business of making sense. We're in the business of making full. Ha ha ha, see how I turned it all around. Maybe how strong the strong attack is. Oh, there's some scumbags. There they are. I knew they were sheer their ugly, or rear their ugly face eventually. I lost my remote. Can't get oh, there we go. Wish I knew how I somehow lost my uh, Thanamajigger, but oh well. town's on edge what could have happened here you could cut the tension here with a knife should we just turn around we don't have any other leads so let's just look for Victor since he's a soldier my bet is he's at the castle your bet is probably right That guy's first sage. Scale mail. Oh, that's easy. That's easy enough quest. Oh, we got some level ups. I still have much further to go. Wonder who the scale mill would be better on. Ah, uh, scale mill wouldn't even be better anyway. I still have a lot more to learn. Victor? Are you recruits? No, we're not. We're here to see Lieutenant Oakville, the leader of the third ranger unit. Could you please tell him Fidel's here? I don't know how you know him, but he's busy. Scram! My name is Fiore Brunelli, and I am emissary from the Royal Institute of Signatory Studies in Langdok. Come to aid your country as per your king's request. Are we still not allowed an audience? Oh, well, uh... By the way, this man is the progeny of Daryl, your military advisor. <sighs> Don't bring my no. dad into... Use what's at your disposal. I understand that bandying about your connections can be embarrassing, but choosing pride over duty shows that you're still a kid. Grow up and learn to live with it. Ha. Huh. You heard the lady. Ouch. That one's got a smart. We're extremely sorry, but Lieutenant Oakville is currently... Lady Brunelli and Fidel's troop. What brings you here? Mr. Oakville! 
Who are they? I'm Emerson. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Anne. The two of them not only saved us from a sticky situation, they're also helping Relia get her memory back. My name is Victor Oakville. I am employed in the service of Fidel's father. I would believe it. Yeah, Victor. Victor's voice actor just sounds. Something. I don't we know. Want to talk because we really angry all the time the or something like that. Her. You see, it's essential that Relia goes there. She recalled one memory earlier, but we think Trey Kerr holds the key to the rest of them. That's impossible. As sort of you's fallen. And there's more. Enemy forces have advanced practically to the capital. If that's how it is, I'll help. I was dispatched from Langdok to assist in the war effort, but I've left the front lines. Some of that responsibility lies with me. I'm the one who put Fiori on that path, though. If she gets to help out, and so do I. We'll do what we can to ensure victory as well. Good to hear. I'd be happy to accept your offer. <sighs> All right, then. Follow me. All right, Victor, more than happily. Into the castle. Well, maybe not so quick. <laughs> Let me in. Fior also spoke with an amusing sounding arrogance on the original Japanese, but they made her bland on the English stuff. Yeah, I mean, that tends to happen when they tran when they switch from Japanese to dub. I don't know why it always happens. Uh, like, the Japanese always just sound better than the English when it comes to, like, game, um, RPGs and animes and stuff like that. Except for Dragon Ball Z. I will say Goku sounds really weird in the original Dragon Ball Z. Hi, everybody. Wait here while I make preparations. In the meantime, those provisions are part of the King's Chosen's exclusive stores. If you care to live through this battle, I suggest you take them. Okay, I'll loot. I'm not afraid. Oh, wow. Yeah, so many good provisions. Just healing. I mean, I guess, you know. Sir, I request the addition of an independent section. One composed of the Langdokan signaturage in her guard, sir. Uh, my preparations are complete, though. Oh, do I have to talk to someone? So, what do you want to do? Go with you. But we're heading into the heart of battle. I'm okay. That girl's got the guts of someone over three times her age. Her courage isn't the issue here. I mean, sure it is. Why would it not be the issue? Don't you think getting involved in their war is unethical? It's not like we can back out now. Oh. <laughs> You're enjoying this, aren't you? How could you tell? You're good at this. <laughs> Captain! Raising your voice will only draw more attention. <laughs> Hoisted by my own baton. <laughs> That's hilarious. Do I need to talk to you three? Enemy troops incoming oh, there we from go. the west. They're 5,000 strong and they're finally strong. here. Let's show them what Rasuli is made of. Okay. Sure. Understood. The motherland. We will not yes, lose. Over to now. Returning to post. All forces marked. Sure. March only after we've moved out. Sir. May we meet on the battlefield. Let's go, Victor. Let's go. Wait, Victor, aren't you going to join my party? No. We're good, right? No wandering off, Relia. Okay. Okay. Can I go now? Okay, yes, I can. <laughs> Victor, come back! This might be a longer episode, guys. I didn't intend for it to be, but hey. Be 
speed up the signatures. Just... I can keep air slashing like forever. Why are there so many of them? hundred thousand total damage. I need to be more sense. I was like, why am I doing this in the battle? Bad for a guy with a few years on What am I going into? Didn't we meet those guys at the end? Whoa now. Don't point those boom sticks around willy nilly. My group will act as the decoy. <laughs> what? Did they pinch our guns? No, sir. That's against the law isolating crude worlds. You are such a downer. Besides, they broke the treaty first, you know. 
Watch out! Guys, split up. We're too close. Hey, did I hear what I think I did? The UP3, am I right? Why are there snakes from the Federation here? That's illegal! Illegal? You're surely one to talk. Who's joined a war in a distant star system? I believe that's Kronos. Shut the hell up, you huge idiot! We don't care a lick about this war. Now get that loser kid to surrender really to us! Why do you want this girl so much? Zip it, you maggot! We're not pulling any punches if the Federation's involved. This is your last warning, monkeys. Relinquish Relia! What's a thing like that doing in this sector? Gonna break other mandates now? CFNZ statutes, too? I don't want to say this again, maggots! Surrender Relia now! You can take her. In return, get out of here. Let this war run its course. What? Took you quite a while to come around, you baboons. Relia stays. And what is that thing? Just hanging in the sky. I know you know. Obviously, there's no way we can beat that thing. Complying's our only choice now. We'll counterattack these jerks in due time. Miki! Let go! I can't let this... Get back! What the...? A mighty rare sneak peek of our strength. You learned that messing with us is futile yet, did you? <laughs> that light's really us? So... Her true nature's unleashed. How intensely beauteous! Left! Roots! Get really at this instant! Damn it! This sucks! Piss! They aren't here? Should I tell the general what exactly has transpired? Don't you dare speak unless I say to! You maggots! I assume she's somewhere close! I want her here now! Interesting. Very interesting. To say the least. Where are- we're in snow. Where are- Is this all snow? Really, are you okay? What just happened to us? Yep. A phenomenon analogous to transport, apparently. Without a transporter? I assume one no of Relia's signets did this, but this is nothing like what happened before. So that's the extent of the Lunar Starlight That may very well be true, but Pieces where in the together. world are we? No need to worry about that. We're in the Northern Territory of Soma. How do you know that? You're I right. grew up around here. This does indeed seem to be Soma. If this really is Soma, then Rasulia should be directly to the south. Then, let's start making our way south. I'll lead the way. So we're gonna go right back into... Well, we're gonna go right back into the fray, huh? That's how we're gonna be, Victor? Alright, I think this episode probably ran a little bit longer than the other... Couple of, of course, I'm gonna have to wait right here. <laughs> this region is famous for all the snow it gets. In fact, you can't see the ground for half the year. As someone who grew up in an area without much snow, I'm pretty envious of you. I rarely got to see any. I can't say I understand your point of view. It'd be great for playing in, but I guess it must be difficult to make a living in it. You can't even grow food. 
Many of the best soldiers and mercenaries come from Soma, as its harsh climate helps prepare them for tough situations. You know, Victor, the way you say that implies that you think you're one of the best soldiers in the world. That was never my intention. Don't worry, I would never actually take it that way. I just think it's cute when you get defensive about stuff. You should show more respect. That sounds just like something Fiddly's father would say. Birds of a feather flock together, as they say. Mr. Camus and I are birds of a feather? You truly think so? Yeah, you're pretty similar. I see. So we are similar. Is that it? Who else do I gotta talk to? These guys, maybe? All right. I leave it to you. Is something the matter? No, not really. Something is totally the matter. I believe you said earlier that Relia is the one who transported us? Yes, as a hypothesis. And that she used a different technique from last time. Is that correct? I did say that, but what of it? Oh, nothing. I was just taken aback by what transpired and wanted to figure out exactly what sort of situation we're in. Oh, I see. All right, then. Really, I doesn't want to talk. Vicky. Were you aware that while Langdok is the most renowned city in the world with regards to signaturgy, it's not where the art originated? Oh, is that right? Actually, this, the northern territory of Soma, is the birthplace of signaturgy. Are you being serious? Have you ever heard of the Signa Silica? Uh, of course I have. Who hasn't? Well, that's it. And it's in the northernmost part of the Soma region. Then I'd love to go! Except... Ugh. Now probably isn't the time, huh? Probably not. But I've never been either. I can only hope that I'll get the chance to someday. Really, yeah? Rilia does not want to talk. Hey, Squirt, you mind if we tag? Don't get any closer to her. You know a lot more than you're letting on. On top of that, you tried to hand Relia over to the enemy. Those two things are more than enough to make me wary of you. So I don't want you coming anywhere near her. I'm gonna have to watch out for this one. Is that it? No. Why do I just need to walk away and this all in? Maybe that's it. As I continue walking, they'll just start following me. Yeah, okay. There we go. Okay, well, I'm gonna end the episode here. I think it probably went a little bit longer than uh, other episodes currently. But thanks everyone who tuned in. We will definitely see you guys on the next episode. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe like and comment the video on youtube if you're watching this on twitch feel free to follow if you want to see more of it and if you're watching this on youtube feel free to follow the twitch because i always do these recordings now live on twitch so you know you get to see them a little bit ahead of time but thanks for tuning in we'll see you guys later and goodbye